The most requested mid-journey feature is finally here and character consistency is now available to everyone. Just look at this stunning Amazonian woman that I've managed to recreate in a number of different situations. It perfectly maintains the eye color, the look and feel and allows me to fully fledge out an entire personality of a character. So to use CREF, it's incredibly easy. All you have to do is enter dash dash CREF at the end of your prompt and paste in an image reference. This image reference will be used by Midjourney to maintain characteristics of your character. And you can think of it very much like image prompting, but you're just changing the parameter. Now, it works best for characters that have been generated in Midjourney. So what we're going to do is we're going to try it out with this influence of a type looking lady that I created in mid-journey earlier. So what you're going to do is come to your gallery, find the image, you can right click on it, and then you're going to go to copy image address. Now we're going to type in dash dash CREF and paste in the URL. We can also add in a prompt that describes the character or describes the differences that we want to have inside of our new image. So I will actually use the prompt that I used to generate this character. And this time I'm going to change the aspect ratio to a vertical. So I'm going to put 9 by 16. And here we have the image outputted. So let's take a look at how that compares to our character reference. This was our character reference and this is our output image. So what you can see is that it's maintained the features of the face. It's also even got the correct hair colorings, maintaining the blue in the center and the pink on the sides of her head. So we can now easily create consistent characters inside of Midjourney using the dash dash CREF command. Now, if you would like to explore creating different scenes with your character, all you have to do is input forward slash imagine, paste in your prompt, and now you can go ahead and change the prompt. So for example, you can put in different scenes like cycling, in bed, or at night. So it's as simple as adding in different contexts, night portrait, for example, or more in a city. And you can use these to generate a whole collection of images that you can then post on social media. Now you can also add in dash dash CW at the end of your prompt to change the character weight. And this modifies the reference strength on a scale of 0 to 100. Now the default is 100 and it uses the face, the hair and clothes. So it tries to recreate exactly the character in exactly the same outfit and costume. However, you can change the character weight from the default number to anything between 0 and 100 and add strength 0 dash dash CW0, it'll focus only on the face. So this is really good if your character is changing clothes or hairstyles. So let's take a look at an example of how that affects the output image. Here is an influencer that I was working on or a character. It's a cross between Sydney Sweeney and Kylie Jenner. Sorry. So this is maintaining the character weight at 100. So you can see that the clothing is very consistent, the style and the aesthetic of the image, whereas changing the character weight to zero allows us to give her completely new clothes and completely change the feel of the image. Now, if you want to use a advanced approach to character referencing, you can include multiple URLs, which will blend information from multiple images. And to do this, you simply add a space between your first URL and add in your second URL. So what is it meant for? Well, this feature works best when using characters made from Midjourney images. It's not designed for real people and it will likely distort them as regular image prompts. But for creating characters inside of Midjourney, this is a huge step forward. However, there are a number of important things to bear in mind. That the precision of this technique is limited and it won't copy exact dimples, freckles or t-shirt logos. So if you have some very specific details in your work, it's not going to carry those across to every single edition. Now, CREF works for both Niji and normal MJ models and also can be combined with SREF. And SREF is style reference, which allows us to create consistent styles between our images. 
So it's now possible to not only keep the same style, but also keep the same characters as we move through our creative workflow. Now, character consistency is going to open up a whole world of possibilities for your creative productions. And you're now meaningfully going to be able to create stories, entire worlds, and fully fledged narratives with Midjourney. And this opens up the whole process of AI filmmaking where we'll be able to take these images and animate them with tools like Hyper or Runway and start to craft entire beautiful films. And of course, you'll be able to use this to create your own AI influencers. And to do this, you have to simply follow the process of putting your character in a number of different situations. Now, if you're not using the Discord version of Midjourney, you can also use it in the Midjourney Alpha website. And to do that, all you have to do is drag or paste an image into the Imagine bar. It now has three icons. Selecting these sets whether it is an image prompt, a style reference, or a character reference. You can also use Shift and Select, an option to use an image for multiple character queries. So let's take a quick look at how that works. If you are in Midjourney, you can simply drag and drop an image into the Imagine bar, come down here and select whether this is an image prompt, a style reference, or a character reference, with a character reference being this little human icon and style reference being the middle icon and the image prompt being the right icon with a little image. And then you simply have to add in your prompt, press enter, and it will generate your image. Now, the response to CREF from the Midjourney community has been overwhelmingly positive, with one user saying, all I want to say that CREF is awesome. Thank you for this feature. Now, it certainly has its limitations, but it's a massive step forward. And here we have our character generated in space. This is a revolutionary step forward in the journey of AI art. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. What do you think about character reference and what are you going to create with it? Thank you very much for being here. And if you would like to follow along for more AI updates, make sure to consider subscribing. I believe there is a button around here somewhere. Thank you very much. I'm Samson Voles, and I hope you have a delightful day.